in the end of this video, you will know how to use Formula 12 to transport yourself anywhere using the Smart Cutout tool. Hey everyone, it's Chloe from Wondershare Formora here to empower your inner video creator. Formora 12 is packed with all kinds of exciting new features. One of my favorites is the Smart Cutout tool, which uses AI technology to separate the elements in the background and foreground. If you haven't already downloaded the all new Formora 12, get started by going to formora.wondershare.com or click the link in the description. Let's get started. Before we jump into Femora and start cutting, we need to film our footage. And there are a few guidelines to keep in mind. First, try to film your subject against a background without a lot of colorful elements. The more contrast your subject has against a background, the more accurate the cutout will be. I'm going to use this wall here in our studio, but Smart Cutout will work with any background. Finally, try your best to match the lighting conditions of your background shot. Try to match the broad strokes of the lighting. You can always fine tune the color in Femora. Once you're happy with your footage, let's move into Femora 12. Using Smart Cutout couldn't be easier. Once you've got the footage in Femora 12, add your background and foreground footage to your timeline. You want to put the background footage at least one layer below the foreground footage. Click on your foreground footage. Go to Video, AI Tools, and activate Smart Cutout. Then, click the button to open the Smart Cutout window. Move the playhead to the very beginning of your footage. Then, using the Smart Brush tool, draw a single line across the subject. Wow, you will see the blue color fill out your subject automatically. You can change the overlay color up here, by the way. And you can change the size of the brush to make it easier. You can fine tune the outline by continuing to draw with the brush or by using the eraser tool up here. You can also preview the shot without the background by clicking this button and clicking toggle transparency black. This mode is helpful for cleaning up rough edges, but don't worry about the details. We're going to use the edge feather bar to automatically clean up the cutout later. Now, all you need to do is click this big green button and Femora 12 will begin filling in the rest of the keyframes automatically. Now, scrub through your footage and try to catch anything that was cut off or picked up by accident. The trick here is to find the first frame where the mistake happens. And use the brush or eraser to add or delete the problem. Then, click the green button again to automatically extrapolate the changes to the rest of the footage. Your cutout is almost ready. All you need to do now is to use the edge feather slides to add some feathering around the edges. Move the slider until most of the noises from the edges has been removed. Once you're happy with the cutout, click save and take a look at the result. Now, spend some time in the new color tab to fine tune the color to match the background, or vice versa. There is no one right way to do this, so try experimenting with the sliders until you get something that you're happy with. You can spend as much time as you want tinkering the footage. After all, it's the nature of Fisher effects. And now, you know how to use the Smart Cutout tool in Femora 12 to transport yourself anywhere in just a few clicks. Leave a comment below if you want to share your creative ideas with more Femora users. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and I will see you next time.